Good evening and welcome to evening prayer with Mansfield College. Today's service marks Interna International Women's Day, which of course was on Monday, but also World Day of Prayer, formerly known as Women's World Day of Prayer, which took place last Friday. This year's World Day of Prayer service was prepared by the Christian women of the Republic of Vanuatu. And our service this evening includes elements from the World Day of Prayer, as well as other women contributors. And we will take a moment's silence before we begin our worship. We celebrate women's voices, proclaiming wisdom. We honor women's lives, forging new paths. We remember women's faith, strong amidst challenge. We anticipate women's vision, calling us into the future. Past, present and future. Our lives join with women everywhere. By day, O oh God, you grant your steadfast love, and at night your song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. And now we join together in the hymn. The words will appear on the screen, and you're welcome to join in wherever you are. God, each life has been shaped and touched by women. Women's stories may have been ignored or forgotten, but today we claim their worth. 
we give thanks for all women who in their labours and through their faith have laid for us a strong foundation. For leaders and liberators like Miriam, Deborah and Esther, for poets and prophets like Hulda, Anna, Mary and Hannah, for apostles and activists like Mary Magdalene, Lydia and Priscilla, for all the names and the nameless, all vital to the story. For women whose gifts of strength, imagination, wisdom and compassion have been a strong foundation for us, we offer our thanks and name them now. We may say their names quietly, with our lips or in our hearts. We are witnesses to the many ways that women's lives contribute to the ongoing story of God's eternal love. May this wisdom continue to take root and grow. Amen. To be of use by Marge Percy. The people I love best jump into work head first without dallying in the shadows and swim off with jaw strokes almost out of sight. They seem to become natives of that element, the black seal, sleek heads of seals bouncing like half submerged balls. I love people who harness themselves as ox to a heavy cart, who pull like water buffalo with massive patience, who strain in the mud and the muck to move things forward, who do what has to be done again and again. I want to be with people who submerge in the task, who go into the fields to harvest and work in a row and pass the bags along, who are not parlour generals and field deserters, but move in a common rhythm when the food must come in or the fire be put out. The work of the world is common as mud, botched. It smears the hands, crumbles to dust. But the thing worth doing well done has a shape that satisfies, clear and evident. Greek amphoras for wine or oil, hoppy vases that held corn are put in museums, but you know they were made to be used. The pitcher cries for water to carry and a person for work that is real. A reading from Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 27. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise person who built their house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish person who built their house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. The image we see on our screen now is the image for World Day of Prayer. It's by the Ni Vanuatu artist, Juliet Pitta, and it is titled Cyclone Pam 2, 13th of March, 2015. It shows a mother bending and praying over her child. The waves crash over her, but a palm tree bends protectively over them. The artist says the palm tree is her favorite tree with strong roots able to withstand strong winds. But on the horizon, you can see small crosses representing the lives taken by Cyclone Pam 
in 2015. As a group of islands located in the South Pacific, the people of Vanuatu are living on the front line of climate change with houses and livelihoods at risk due to rising sea levels. It's no wonder that this parable and the theme of building on a strong foundation was chosen by the women of Vanuatu for World Day of Prayer. And they offer us the following words of reflection. They write, this parable is a story of comparison and warning. Jesus offers us an example of how our choices can affect our lives. Sometimes we are beaten by winds and storms in every corner of our lives. Due to our deep faith in Jesus, we find ourselves still standing. Jesus says, Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise person. We are very good at acting, but do we hear? Do we listen? The parable presents us a choice to be like a wise person or a foolish one. Do we listen to his words and act on them or ignore them and let them wash over us. Our lives reflect the choices we make. Our legacy is the action we take. How can we, through our choices and actions, live wisely? This reflection from the World Day of Prayer Women's Committee and Vanuatu fits well with this year's theme for International Women's Day choose to challenge. As we are reminded that our lives reflect the choices we make, we are also reminded that our choices may oftentimes result in taking away another's choice. We can choose to accept our conveniences and waste, or we can choose to challenge and work towards climate justice. We can choose to accept the status quo of women being seen as less than, or we can choose to challenge and work towards gender justice. Building on the solid rock of those who came before us, building on the solid rock of God's faithfulness towards us, we can choose to challenge. But it is a choice we must make every day. Choosing to challenge is work. And as our poem today reminds us, the work is real. And the work has to be done again and again. Like our sisters before us, we pray for the strength to choose to challenge and continue that work, knowing we stand on the solid rock of God's love for us and for all.
We offer these prayers of intercession to our Maker and our Mother, the God of a good creation. For all who identify as women around the world, remembering especially those in places of oppression and unrest, we pray for peace. We pray we for pray peace. peace. For those in positions of authority, for leaders of the church and governments and all who sit at the table with the power to effect change, we pray for courage. We pray, we pray for, for courage. courage. For those suffering from the devastating effects of the climate crisis, especially our sisters in the global south who are disproportionately affected, mm. we pray for justice. We pray, we pray for, for justice. For all those in situations of fear or abuse, may the Lord heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. We pray for healing. We pray, we pray for, for healing. healing. For those who preach inequality and proliferate the sin of sexism, those who fail to recognise the sacred image of God in all, regardless of gender identity, we pray for transformation. We pray, we for, pray for transformation. For those who are struggling due to the ongoing pandemic, particularly women managing multiple commitments, those feeling alone, and those who have lost loved ones. We pray for comfort. We pray, we pray for, for comfort. comfort. Forgive us, God, in all our failures to live up to your good creation. Help us to grow in likeness to you by following in the footsteps of your Son, he who sided with the marginalised and the oppressed. Grant us the wisdom and compassion to bring about a more loving world. We ask all our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and all that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo throughout the universe, the way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world, your heavenly will will be done by all created beings, your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and testing, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. O oh God, grant us your spirit of wisdom and knowledge. Help us to build our lives on your foundation, with windows that look out to the world, with a door that opens to welcome all, with mortar which binds us together, with a roof that shelters through the storms of life. We humbly offer ourselves to be a house that you can dwell in. By the power of your word, transform our lives and our nations. Amen. There are women yearning for good news. We will, speak, we will out. speak out. There are women whose hearts are broken. We, we will, will reach, out. reach out. There are women who have lost their freedom. We, we will seek will justice. justice. There are women who mourn. We, we will, will stand, stand with, them. with them. There are those who choose the status quo of discrimination and inequality. We will, we will choose, choose the challenge. challenge. And before we receive the words of the blessing, I'd like to say thank you to all of our contributors to this evening's service. It was wonderful to see so many voices from across the Mansfield community come together. And this is our last service of the Hillary term. And we will be coming back with new services uh, the, during week one of the Trinity Chapel, Trinity term, sorry. And we will see how those will take place as the weeks progress. Um, but we pray that we will be together in the future, but that we keep one another safe and that we make sure we keep each other's lives safe, responsible and healthy. And now receive the words of the blessing. May we find our roots in God's steady grace. 
May nourishment flow from sweet waters of compassion. May we stand tall with strength and perseverance. May the green gift of hope be our instinct and proclamation. May we bless and be blessed in each season of this life. Amen. Amen.